What's good, YouTube? It's your man, BG Tech Life, and we got the OnePlus 13 on deck. And I've been telling y'all how powerful this device is. So, today I'm going to show y'all how powerful this device is. We're just going to do a little testing. Now, you guys know I bought this device from OnePlus. I had to spend some money on the device because I wanted to check it out. So, to save some money because I spent some money, I had to get the right service for this device. I just want to be honest with you guys for a second. Testing the latest smartphones and getting the latest accessories for these smartphones is not cheap. So I'm always trying to figure out a new way to cut costs and save some money. I'm not interested in cutting subscriptions on my favorite editing software or my favorite streaming service. But I found a way to get premium wireless phone service at a savings. This is why I wanted to check out Mint Mobile. And this video is in partnership with Mint Mobile. They offer premium wireless service for 15 bucks a month. With Mint Mobile, you can get high speed data, unlimited talk and text on the nation's largest 5G network. You can actually bring your own phone and your current number. So that means you're not losing anything. So if you want to save some money, go to the link in my description where you get wireless service for $15 a month when you purchase a three month plan. And right now for new customers, Mint Mobile is offering 50% off their 12 month unlimited plan. It's their best deal of the year, but only available for a limited time. So click the link in the description and start saving today. Okay, YouTube. So like I said, we're going to do a couple tests today with this device because I actually want y'all to get a sense of how powerful this thing is and how good it is at the things that it's good at. Like charging. We're going to do a charging test. See how long it actually takes this device to charge from 0%. And we're going to do a benchmark test versus the Samsung Galaxy S24, guys. Because the Samsung Galaxy S24 has the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, which is the prior processor from Snapdragon from last year. This device has the Snapdragon 8 Elite in it. And Snapdragon has made big claims. And I want to see if Geekbench 6 will back that up. So let's get into some testing. First test, I'm going to make sure the device is completely dead. I'm going to put a timer on and we're going to charge it to 100% non-stop. Now what I got on deck is the 80 watt SuperVolt charger that I got with my OnePlus 13. Now mind you, this is 80 watts. You can actually buy a 100 watt SuperVolt charger if you wanted to. But we're going to just do the timer with what came in the box, 80 watts. So let's just go ahead and get straight into this. Okay, YouTube, so here it is. We at the end of the charging test, guys. Charged it from 0%. This device was not even on. From completely dead, done zero, it took 45 minutes. We'll call this because 44 minutes, 58 seconds. We're going to call that 45 minutes to, to charge this device to 800%. Now, how handy is that? Because if you think about it, when you wake up in the morning and your device was just happened to be dead, you made a mistake and your device is completely dead out the game. You put it on the charger, you take a shower, you get some breakfast, you put your clothes on, you put your shoes on, you put your lotion on, you just get yourself ready to get out the door and pack your lunch. This device is at 100%. Because it's sure enough going to take 45 minutes to do that, depending on, you know, whatever your routine is. But this is very clutch. This is something that we really don't see in the United States between Samsung and Apple like that. And this device is available over here. So I just wonder, we all, I always talk about how fast things happen and how powerful this device is. But I want we put a number on it today. Zero to 100% charge with the 80 watt SuperVolt charger in 45 minutes. So I think that's pretty dope. Now we're going to put this device in a head up Geekbench 6 battle against the X24 Ultra with last year's Snapdragon processor. Okay, guys, so what we got here is the Galaxy S24 Ultra OnePlus 13. 
Now, what I want to do, like I said, we're just doing some testing in this video today. I've been telling you how powerful this phone is and how it does its thing and compared to the competition in the United States and stuff like that. But I'm going to put some numbers on. Now I'm going to do something that I really don't get into that much. We're going to do Geekbench. We're going to run Geekbench 6. Uh, now, the big thing about this, guys, is we both got Snapdragon processors in here. Snapdragon made big claims about the Snapdragon 8 Elite, which is the new processor in the OnePlus 13. And the S24 Ultra got that prior processor, got that prior processor, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. I just wanna I want y'all to see the actual some actual numbers because I mean I'm gonna just keep it real with you. Geekbench is definitely, you know, you can see the performance. It's a performance test. I know people talk about everyday use and stuff like that. But this is testing and putting the CPUs to the test and see what the, seeing what the devices got. Now I got Geekbench up on each device. And as you can see, guys, different structures and the clusters and things of that nature. But we can definitely take a look at the results of the test. So we're just going to go ahead and hit run on each device. Let's go. So as you can see guys, we just got the finish from the OnePlus 13. So here go our final results right here guys. As you can see, on the S24 Ultra, Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, single core score 2,253. Single core score on the OnePlus 13 with the Snapdragon 8 Elite, 3,009. So that is a nice difference guys. Now. This proves that Snapdragon wasn't lying. They put out a lot of information. They said the Snapdragon 8 Elite was going to be like that and 30 to 40% better CPU, GPU type stuff going on. And we got those results on Geekbench. So, you know, it just show you how powerful these processors are becoming. It's insane how small and powerful a processor could be. And this is definitely future proofing a device. Like, look how powerful this device is. It can, I could probably have this device five or six years. It'll still work really well and be able to adjust to the newer software, newer AI stuff that's to come down the pipeline. And if we take a look at the multi scores, as you can see, 6,892 on the S24 Ultra with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Over here on the OnePlus 13, 8,804. So it's definitely, definitely an upgrade, a next level performance upgrade moving to the Snapdragon 8 Elite from the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. And to be honest with you, this is still a beast of a processor that can do everything that you want to do on a smartphone. So all of this is just extra for right now until some, you know, until years go by and these devices start to slow down because they make newer software that's more needy, that need more processing power. But for right now, this is still, this is, not even this software haven't even reached the center of this processor and this processor is just insane so all in all guys i hope y'all have an idea of how good this device is i just wanted to show y'all you know instead of just saying oh it does this fast it does this really good i wanted to show y'all how it shows up actually and backed up by some statistics and some numbers oneplus definitely has a powerful device under a thousand dollars which is rare these days so that's why i think is if something if you enter these processes and powerful devices and gaming and fast charging this a device like this is definitely a no-brainer it's your boy bg tech life shout out to you for watching if you like the video hit the like button if you're not subscribed get subscribed i'm out peace